Hi, this is Craig from Waterfalls of Tasmania, and today I'm visiting Sensation Gorge, which is near Mole Creek. And down the road, which is pointing west from where I'm standing right now, down the road about one kilometre is a turn off for Maracoopa Caves. Behind me is um, going back towards Mole Creek. And today, here's a little creek which is underneath the road bridge here. That's a creek that feeds the waterfalls. Now a little bit about this creek, it is often dry. Often it doesn't have flow and it relies very heavily on basically big downpour of rain for the waterfalls to basically be flowing. However, the easiest way is pull over on the side of the road. My car is parked just over there. And if you can see that the water is flowing, you know there's a waterfall. Often there might be water in the creek, but it's dead still. And when that happens, then it's not worth visiting the waterfall. However, the gorge is worth checking out. It's got some beautiful rock formations, so even if it is dry, it is a pleasant walk in its own right. So on the Mole Creek side of the bridge, the track starts on that side of the river, and you'll see there's some ribbons tied to trees. And basically, you just gotta follow alongside the track, and where you find the ribbons, just follow those. The track is fairly decent. It is somewhat distinct although it does get faded at times there's quite a few trees that have fallen over the track and there's also a lot of grasses that you sometimes have to push through at times you'll be ha you'll have to walk steeply up and down hills as it crosses through the gorge however it's not too hard and if you're used to hiking this is about a one hour return walk where you get to visit two waterfalls okay so let's start our walk i've been walking for about five minutes um just more ribbons tied to trees to help guide us through. The track is somewhat visible. Not too hard to follow, but sometimes you just see branches where people, or branches in, within the track where people have basically walked in different directions. Generally speaking, it's just alongside uh, the creek here, which today is flowing really well. It's very cute. A lot of trees down along the track, which is making it slightly harder. This is an example here on the side of where there's a track up there, but we also have a track on the down here as well. Which one do you take? I guess it's just up to you which one you want to take. Oh, I nearly slipped over there. And up here we go. So now I'm starting a climb uphill. Still on the track. So we're starting to climb up the gorge a little bit. And there we go. Another pink ribbon to follow. So we'll just keep walking down. It won't be too long before we start reaching the area where the waterfalls start. So the track has taken us sort of uphill quite sharply and then sharply downhill uh, to take us right next to the creek. Again, more ribbons tied up. We're actually walking right alongside the creek. Literally, right around. I think a few days ago, this part was underwater. Well, at least this section right there. Because we had a lot of rain in the area. All right, we'll keep following the ribbons. All right. So I'm at the top of the waterfall is right here. I've been walking about 10-15 minutes. So that's the waterfall there. Quite a bit of tannin. And in front of the waterfall is the gorge. Have a look at that. Look at all those logs, big trees. How typical is that when you come to a Tasmanian waterfall? I'll lean over the edge a little bit. So like I said, about 10 or 15 minutes walking to get to this point. So you do have to find your way a little bit. Little bit of push bashing, but not too bad. So I'm gonna try and make my way somewhere down there to a point where I can actually photograph the waterfall from the front, which will mean there will be a bit of um, climbing down. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's see how I go. So here's the top of the um, Sensation Gorge Falls. This is the um, first of the major waterfalls. And the big lodge we were talking about before, 
Let's scurry around here. That's the second waterfall which we'll go down to and we'll be able to photograph that one. We'll be able to get it to the front of it. So really speaking, you get two for the price of one here. Yeah, that's sensational. I'm making my way down very carefully because it's somewhat steep. A few loose rocks around as well. So along the track which goes high up on the gorge, it then comes down pretty steeply to the river edge again. So I'm just trying to make my way down now without slipping. And over there to my left is the waterfall. So that's Sensation Gorge Falls. Oh. A bit steep. It's a pretty nice view, isn't it? And right through the gorge there, really pretty spot. And for people who are good at, you know, hiking and especially hiking where there's not really a track, this is a quick, easy one. Yeah, beautiful.